Aha! New merch has arrived. Now, I was hoping it would arrive before the show, because then I could actually sell it. I documented those two weeks leading up to my first headline show in a year and a half. I'd forgotten that the answer to what does a musician do is to ride an emotional roller coaster. So this is the two weeks leading up to the show. It's ups and it's downs and uh, I've learnt a lot. There's a lot that I wouldn't do again. But I think at the moment I'm feeling like there's a lot that I would. Now, I've got to go figure out what to do with all this merch, but in the meantime, here's a, here's a roller coaster. So I've just got home from my day job, uh, even musicians have desk jobs, and I've got a million and one things running through my head. I need to talk to the sound guy, I need to check in with a photographer, I need to tell the girls uh, I found a photographer, I Facebook post crunch yet, the numbers, I printed, how much will everyone need to chip um, in for those two things, I haven't finished the charts, all sorts of things. Uh, but I've learnt that Monday is not the day to be doing a nine to five and then come home in the evenings and try to push through. It's just not worth getting that tired that early in the week. Tuesday morning, on the other hand, totally acceptable. So I'm just at work an hour early. I'm gonna sit and do a couple emails. I need to transpose the chart for graciousness, dishonesty, and then I will switch gears into being a receptionist. Today is actually the one day all week that I don't have work, but I've slept really badly the last couple of nights. So I'm just making breakfast now. Um, the plan is still work hard in the morning, relax in the afternoon, and rehearse in the evening, our last practice before the gig. So a big day. I'm remembering today that this is the period of time in which self-doubt kicks in. I was sorting through emails and I noticed that the merchandise I had ordered is actually not arriving until a few days after the show. The initial thing that I had ordered was actually out of stock, even though it was in stock on the website. So they emailed me and said, can we swap it out for this other thing? And I emailed back straight away and said, yes, that's fine. And all of that happened very quickly. But I guess it was actually enough to push it back to the other side of the weekend after the show, um, which wreaks havoc with cash flow. I thought I would have things to sell and I'm just feeling a bit silly. I had completely emptied my bank account to pay for the merch. And we don't know how much money we're gonna make at the show. Millennials already are really bad at committing to things and they will wait around for the best offer and then decide on the day what they're gonna do. And ever since COVID, after two years of having concerts and holidays and, and whatever else canceled, people don't sign up to things in advance anymore. So I sold 20 tickets and those 20 people were going to make it the best possible night for them. But it's impossible to budget when you don't know if the other 60 tickets, how many of them are going to sell. And so I just am feeling down in the dumps. And so I'm just going to crawl into bed and watch a movie and have a calm afternoon 
because there's nothing I can do about my merch and oh. One of those people got COVID. So the rest of us are all testing. Um, also, uh, the battery in my camera decided that after 10 years of service, uh, this is the time that it's gonna die. So my camera's not working. And within minutes of finding out that we have a COVID scare, my guitar has got called up for jury duty. Uh, he can still play, but it just kind of complicates the timing of things. And this gig really is, Determined to not happen. So it is wrapped time. Sorry that this is uh, what this content has turned into. Everyone has a negative code.